start with what is reference qualifier ma quickly please okay so reference qualifier is to is to restrict the data of the reference fields is to restrict the data of a reference field right so how many types of reference qualifiers we have simple advanced dynamic right. simple advanced and dynamic right so these three three types we have one simple using simple we can use uh, condition condition builder yeah. okay in advanced you can either use enquired query or javascript okay and third thing is dynamic filter so when we were discussing about initially when we were discussing about reference qualifier we have only seen two things because that time we were not confident okay or we have not covered few scripting concepts so here in dynamic reference qualifier we use scripting include or business rules okay so this is the reason we have not covered that time because if i cover it also you don't understand because we don't know script we don't know script include we don't know business rule right this was around some fourth class or fifth no no seventh class or eighth class we covered uh, reference qualifier right so we will just try to understand what is dynamic reference qualifier okay so i don't know reference qualifier i don't know dynamic reference qualifier okay even i am also learning with you okay so let me learn so i am going to incident page okay okay so see here in uh, incident form there is a field called caller customer caller id okay which is a customer i want to see this one okay so see here it is 609 means active equal to true this is fine we know okay we will see back end right we'll go to the dictionary to see the reference qualifier okay i'm going to the dictionary and here i can see the reference qualifier okay now how it set is we will just analyze how it set okay the reference qualifier why ma why it is becoming so slow ah. okay so the reference qualifier here is it is a simple reference qualifier when it is a simple reference qualifier we use condition builder okay so here using condition builder they kept act to equal to true okay if it is advanced maybe the same thing will be converted as a reference enquired query these two we seen it we know already okay but now we try to know understand the third one dynamic reference qualifier okay so when i am seeing this dynamic reference qualifier okay unlike condition builder unlike the script i am getting some reference here okay first of all what is this i don't know okay now just click it okay so it is taking me to something called dynamic filter option okay so dynamic filter option first thing we will just write here dynamic filter option okay this is fine now on incident table level there is only one dynamic filter option created or available i just select it okay so see here the reference qualifier i set using dynamic filter okay and this is how it is there i will just save it okay so see we don't know anything now we didn't see anything okay i see in a dynamic type and then there i found something okay and i selected that one okay how it will work how it will filter and all we don't know okay we will see now okay so this part i selected now go to incident form or incident table anything okay and now see customer okay now see the look up how many values it is showing okay it is showing 90 values 19 values okay out of 6 40 or 680 all tickets 609 are active tickets and now it is showing only 19 okay why 19 this is the first question so it is filtering something it is restricting data to show only 19 but why 19 is the question right till this point everyone clear yes sir others please confirm ma yes sir now in order to know this one okay we will go and see the this configuration okay so just go here okay open this 
right this way you can open or you can go here and say dynamic okay here also you will get dynamic filters both are same if you go here and then type pa it will get the same thing or you can directly also open it okay pa contributor okay this is the same one i am opening it okay so here i opened it now here okay here it is running a script what script it is okay it is running a script include first important question here is okay yesterday we seen one thing okay so this question is very important question ma okay how you call a script include okay now the first question is okay from client side okay from client side we use ajax call okay you can call glide ajax or ajax call this part we seen yesterday agree you call like uh, ga new glide ajax of glide uh, yes. scripting include yes, name add param add param and all right yes now from server side how you call it from server side okay this is very very important thing how you call a script include from server side server okay so this is the format so see here we have something so new starts with new okay starts with new and give me one second okay new okay this format so here after new the first thing is script include name second thing is a function okay in other terminology yesterday we seen something right class and method class and function so class multiple functions okay so how you call it class class dot function right so similarly you are calling here also script script include is nothing but a class under class you can define n number of functions so script include name and method name function name so this is how you call a script include from server side script server side script means you can call from anywhere you can call it from business rule you can call it from a workflow script you can call it from schedule job business uh, background script fix script okay uh, integration script anywhere you call you create a, you create a class you create a function you define whatever you want to keep it there and you can use that script wherever you want it so yesterday maybe if you remember my class okay we defined something right so a class and multiple functions i defined okay so i want to use this lunch function somewhere maybe in my workflow so daily habits dot lunch okay in my one of the business rule i want to use puja okay daily habits dot puja so the global class within that global class we have so many functions and you can call this script include and functions wherever you want it from server side so if you want to call a script include from server side this is only the function this is the only the format this is such an important interview question also this is clear ma please confirm yes now as you as we agreed okay so this is the script include this is the function na? now we need to know why this 19 why 19 are coming so analyze it start it okay so open the script include pa utilities okay go to script include here right and type that uh, particular uh, this one script include name okay so if i want to call our script include a new class si get user details okay so script include name i open the script include so now if you see this script include now it is more clear yesterday we, we created only one function okay because of time and we have because of our convenient but here one class and so many functions function one function two function three okay function four function five so it have so many functions see here i am dragging it okay so this, this is a global out of the box function class and our script include it have so many functions okay now from our dynamic reference qualifier our dynamic filter what function we are calling okay we are calling something called get contributors so this is our function so search it search in the script okay so control f function name enter okay here okay we got that function so 
in dynamic filter option okay they are called they are executing this particular function so what is there in the function so here what it have is they are going to a role has role role stable is different this user role has role means if i have a role okay so let's say i uh, i added the one user to a role in this table one record will be created if i add a user to group okay sys underscore user underscore gr member table there one user will one record will be created right so this table just analyze this table okay one by one we will go through it now so this is this particular one it is going to this table okay open this table okay even here also we need to understand scripting okay so that is the reason we need to practice the script okay same yesterday half an hour class i can't speak now but see here i gone to this table okay and now the query what is the query role name equal to pa contributor okay so role name so this one role name equal to pa contributor okay 19 records what does it mean is this is a role okay and this role has been assigned to 19 users okay so what the script include script is doing is it is going to this particular table getting the role who is having pa underscore contributor okay so first applying a filter and then uh, add query okay query while gr next and then there it is it is just pushing the value of a user to an array so how many users here 19 users so user 1 user 2 user 3 user 4 all the sys ids will be pushed to an array say so, how and once it is executed return sys id in contributor this one so whatever the array you are pulling the sys ids it is returning so the final output is the sys ids of all these people in an array format so the function will write the user sys ids separated by commas as in it as it is an array okay of these users if i have one user okay it will show one it will if i have multiple users so let's say let's say add some two users here okay 19 is there okay adding user directly to role it's not a best practice we use via groups but as for this demo i am using it here okay two people are i added two more people so now 21 now go to incident form okay and now refresh once and then see it should show not 19 but 21 right so you got this clear picture man now what is dynamic filter okay in dynamic filter what we are calling we can we can call a function from a script include and then the result will come here as an output and as it is attached to a reference qualifier okay it will also get those users you are getting it yes sir everyone you are getting it yes no please yes, sir. Yeah. so this is the first first thing is okay we have seen dynamic filter option we also seen why 19 number as now why only 19 records are coming and also we seen something very important is how to call a script include from server side script 